Hello, this is Chris Star, and today I am going to make something of a multi-tap delay. I think so, at any rate. For a multi-tap delay, what I'm told is that it does a serial plus a parallel on different styles of taps where you can do polyrhythms and be able to get something done. So what I want to do is I want to do a sort of a multi-tap delay on this right now. So we're going to use delay plus right out of the box. And so when, you, when you're talking about serial, we're talking all in a row. So we want like four devices together. And then this device is going to feed into this device, is going to feed into this device, is going to feed into this device, going to feed into this device. And then parallel means that I believe each one of these are going to go out to a master bus by themselves. And for that to happen, I'm going to make different tracks. And then I'm going to route the different devices and we're going to name these. We're going to call it delay one, delay two. Because actually I'm going to, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the audio relay device to put them out to each of them. And we need to we need to figure out which one we're looking for. So like on audio two here, we're gonna grab the audio receiver. We're gonna put it in here and then we're gonna go I want the input from not polymer, but I want delay one out. And then we're gonna do the same thing. And then we're gonna put it Two, three, four, and each one of these are going to be All right, let's give it a try first and see how chaotic we got it. Not too bad, not too bad. So what we want to do is we want to create one, 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 one. Thank you. This one's going to be the furthest. Let's do a fourth on that one. Almost a reverb like quality on these.
what we're trying to go for is we're trying to get the delays to be out of sync and then that in turn goes to the next out of sync one and the next one out of sync one I'm curious if I don't put it in the feedback here This one, this one's bad. Still going. Alright, so that was a bad idea. ways you could do this is probably pick up some delays that are there there's there's some delays that are in Arturia that actually work with this type of concept where they have different heads and they have different timing on those heads and it gets you what you want it to have you can probably have those in serial or parallel or whatnot to get the, the delays to to pan out the way that I'm trying to get
So let me see. The Tape 201, I think, is the one that I'm thinking of. That's it. Get four of these together. All right. So what we want is we want four of these on each different setting. There we go. So like that one, a half. Curious if we can't get the the selector or at least the repeat rate to be variable for each one and use sort of like maybe a random modulation.
damn cool concept. Anyways, wanted to mess around with multi-tap delays. There's something that came out that had it, and I wanted to learn more about it on why it was called a multi-tap delay. And there were, you know, the, the, the it checks out. Being able to do several different ta delays after after a while, some of different timing, and then sending it out to different channels. Kind of cool, kind of reverbish. Kind of, kind of, kind of did, did originally sound like it was a reverb ish with the different ones because it was blending in or something. Overall, kind of, a, kind of cool. So, at any rate, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I will catch you later.